Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from Jupiter Jim's marketing team and I'm going to show you in this video tutorial how to install Google Analytics to your WordPress blog. Now you do need to be using the thesis theme in order to follow along with this video tutorial. I happen to be using WordPress version 3.1.3 .3, along with thesis theme version 1.8.1. This is the demonstration blog that we'll be installing it on, and you won't see any changes up front. Everything we do will be in the back end. So I'm going to open up, go to Google right now, and in the upper corner you can see here where it says to sign in, and that's what you need to do. If you have, if you need to have a Google account. Now, if you have a Google Gmail account, that's good enough. You can use that. If you have a Gmail account that you use for personal reasons, you might want to consider opening up a second Gmail account that you use just for business and just for Google Analytics, Google Webmaster Tools and stuff like that. And, or if you don't have a Gmail account at all, let me show you how to do that. All you're going to do is go to Google, just type in Gmail. There you go. You're going to get a link here. And you're just going to go down here, create an account and just put all the information in. It's very simple. Click accept and you're done and you have the Gmail account and now you will be able to log in to Google and install the Google Analytics code onto your WordPress blog. So let me log in right here. Now, since I have a Google Gmail account, and this is it, it's Monte, Monte Cristo FLA at Gmail. Since it's a Gmail account, I don't need to put the at Gmail. If you opened up your Google account with another email account, you will need to put the at symbol and then the rest of your email address, like at yahoo.com or comcast.net or whatever it is. Okay, now I'm going to just put in the password, which I'm going to change right after this video, and I'm going to click here and sign in. You can see in the upper corner, I am signed into the Google account. Next thing I'm going to do, very simple, just type in Google Analytics, and before I've even completed it, it'll be down here. So just click on this. It says Access Analytics. I have not with this with this Gmail account or with this Google account, I have not yet signed up for my Google Analytics account, so I need to sign up now. In the future, I'll just click on that big blue button. Click Sign Up Now. So your next step, of course, is to go down here and just click on Sign Up. Very simple, very easy. And it's asking for the website's URL or Uniform Resource Locator or web address. So I'm going to go back up here to our blog. I'm going to click on the home page. And I'm in Google Chrome, so I'm just going to click once, press Control key plus the C key to copy. You can right click if you like. Go back here, click in there. You can right click to paste or press Control V, like Control Victor. And I'm going to get rid of the HTTP colon slash 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 in the beginning. Put the J back in, that would probably help. And there is a trailing slash there. You can leave that in or leave it out. I like to leave it in. For the account name, it names it automatically. I'm going to make it a little more human readable. You can call it exactly whatever you want. I'm going to call it Jim's Max GXL Team, and then I'm going to put demo there. So there's no question, and I don't get confused. I'm in the United States. I am not in the GMT stands for Greenwich Mean Time. I am on the East Coast in Florida, so I'm going to put Eastern Time right there. Then I'm going to click on Continue. This is your the name that you want to add for this account sign up. I'm just going to put Jim, first name I can put Jupiter, and then for country or territory, once again, we're going to go to the back to the old United States of America. Click Continue. I like to deselect. See how that's highlighted in gold? I like to deselect it first. You don't have to, but I like to click Continue. And then read all this stuff here. Scroll down. It's all there. It's all good to know. Blah, 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 blah. Click yes. I agree to the above terms and conditions. And now we're going to click on the create new account button here. Once you get to this page, you're just going to click in it right in here. You can right click, select all. I'm going to press control a to select all. If you're in a Mac, you would press Command A. Once I've selected all, I'm going to press Control C to copy. In a Mac, it's Command C to copy. And it's telling you right here, step one, step two. Um, now we're going to go back to the dashboard. Here, once again, is the demonstration blog. I'm going to click on this tab in my browser, 
which is the dashboard of Jim's Max Jigsaw marketing team where I have already logged in. Scroll down, go to the thesis tab here, click on site options, and then we're going to go where it says stats, software, scripts. Click on the plus to the right and you're going to paste it in. Now I have already have some code in here and that was for the Google plus one button which I showed you how to do in another video. So if you see it there don't panic. You can just take this lower right hand corner, drag it down, uh, put the cursor in at the end here, hit enter or return a few times and then I'm going to press control V, control Victor to paste that code. As soon as I do that I like to click outside of this area where I pasted it to deselect. That's just me. Okay now I'm going to scroll up click the big green save button and you have just activated the Google Analytics on this site it's as simple as that I'm going to go back here once again deselect scroll down and now I'm going to click save and finish so wait 24 hours at least maybe 24 to 36 hours and then you can click on view report for this account obviously I just opened it so it doesn't tell me how many visitors it has no idea we have to wait 24 hours and then to log back in again like I said you would just go to Google type in Google Analytics and there'll be a little button for you to well let me log out here and I'll show you how to do it I'm gonna sign out and I'm going to go back to Google and you would so the next day you want to check it out just type in Google analytics click on this website here you're going to click on access analytics and you're gonna to have to log back in again so we're gonna do that Monte Cristo of FLA if you have Gmail just to use a name if you don't have Gmail the full email address put in the password bang da bang da boom and there it is and you just click and you got the report so ladies and gentlemen, that's all you need to know about installing and activating Google Analytics on your WordPress blog that uses the thesis theme. Thank you to all my blog followers and fans for subscribing and following and supporting me. If you're not a subscriber, please do so now so that as soon as I create these videos, you will receive them the very next day in your email inbox along with any code that you may need to complete this video tutorial. Take care and have a great day.